the Coalition launched its national broadband network proposal this week. And yes, compared to the government's NBN, it's a far inferior service. But the good news is that you will get that inferior service sooner. <laughs> and it's cheaper. So sooner, cheaper. And uh, politicians always, always speak in threes, don't they? Help me out, somebody. Sooner, cheaper and more affordably. <laughs> Cheaper and more affordably. Hopefully they can get it to cost less as well. So, less expensive but not as good. It's, uh, it's Bjorn again to Labor's ABBA. <laughs> it's a tribute broadband network. Now, the major difference between the two networks is that Labor runs fibre to your home, allowing broadband speeds of about 100 megabits a second, whereas the Coalition runs fibre to a node at the end of your street and then reduces the whole thing down to 25 megabits where it hooks up to the copper wire that runs to your house. This is Malcolm Turnbull's baby, and Tony Abbott, to his credit, has been very generous to the man whose job he took, the man who had hoped one day to be known as Prime Minister. I'm confident that in the years to come, uh, Malcolm is going to be Mr Broadband. Mm. <laughs> it's got a great ring to it, hasn't it? Mr Broadband. It's right up there with uh, Mr Antenna. <laughs> Not that Tony Abbott doesn't know a thing or two about technology himself, as he ably demonstrated before a spellbound audience. That's uh, a computer-generated uh, representation of Sonny Bill, isn't it? Well spotted. <laughs> well spotted indeed. A lot of people would have thought the real Sonny Bill had magically appeared in front of him. <laughs> Perhaps been down from a spaceship hovering over Fox Studios. And, and incidentally, very good of the owners of Fox Studios to let the Coalition launch their broadband policy there and give them access to the sort of technology that won't be possible in their homes as a result. <laughs> but this week's not all about speed in the cyber world. It's about speed in the real world too. Since the arrival of the First Fleet, we have dreamed of a high-velocity rail system linking the great cities <laughs> of our East Coast and Brisbane. As with the national broadband rollout, the Libs and the Labs have competing ideas. Labor says a 300 km per hour link from Melbourne to Canberra to Sydney to Brisbane will cost $114 billion. The Coalition say they can do it for $22 billion, but the tracks will run only to a small box in a paddock 30 <laughs> km south of each of the cities called a node, from which all the passengers will be required to transfer to a shuttle and then travel the rest of the way at speeds of up to 5 km per hour. <laughs> 